Hello everybody, good day to you. Welcome back. Glad you guys are here. That is a 2004 Chevrolet Suburban 5.3 liter V8. Super clean truck. The brake pedal is flippity floppity and it makes noise and we don't like it. So I'm gonna see what I can do to stop that brake pedal flippity floppy. Starting the engine. What do we got here for some mileage? Haven't seen this truck in a few months. We got, oh, looks like 116,052 miles on the odometer. Disengage parking brake. All right, let's get this thing nosed into the shop. The building's full, I've got a car in both lifts. We're gonna nose this one in right up front. Uh, I think I need to just kind of work on the ground. No big deal. All right, parking the auto, powering down. Yeah. Let the windows down. I'm gonna be in here for a while. This is gonna be a hard video to record because there's not a lot of space down here in the footwell and we're gonna be up into the dash and then up some more on the brake pedal lever. So uh, let's see how this works out. It's gonna be fun for you, uh, maybe not so much for me. So stay tuned because this is gonna be a very good video. Opening Z hood. Yeah. Okie doke, since we're gonna be laying around on the ground over here, get some padding set up so I'm not uh, rolling in the dirt and we need a little bit of lumens so we can see what we're trying to see and what we're trying to see is supposed to be uh, well I can't see what I'm trying to see hang on here it's supposed to be uh, a pin up there Oh yeah, yeah, there we are. Way, way up there. See that bolt running through? That's the bolt that secures the brake pedal lever to its bracket. We need to pull that bolt out and replace the plastic shim that is uh, between that bolt and that metal housing. That's what we're looking for. And just to give you some an idea of how far away that is, watch this one back way out. Yeah, we're, we're way up there in the dash. So. Let me try to get comfortable and let's get to it. Okay, so we saw the nut over here on this side. Looking way, way up into the hole here. There's the bolt that comes through on, on this side over here. So we need to get that nut and that bolt loose. I think that looks like a 17 or 18 millimeter. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna go fetch some tools and we can try to get that, uh, that bolt removed. Okay, so one of the first things I'm gonna do in here is get this uh, brake pedal connector disconnected I'm gonna pull this guy out if I can here yeah. there we go that's our wire for the brake pedal switch and we're gonna reach in uh, someone's put lube on this I can't see there's a little clip right here that secures the switch and the brake pedal to uh, the rod for the booster so we're gonna separate the pedal from the booster and then we'll be able to reach up a little bit better, I think, and uh, ooh, and disconnect uh, that shaft up there. I need a I need a towel here. We got to wipe off some of this grease. Too much lubricant. Kind of like yesterday's drive shaft video. Too much lube on the shaft. There we go. Get rid of that. Yeah, this is hard, guys. This is real hard to do. Ooh. Still in here prying around. This thing's got to get pulled back and unclipped, and now it's pointing the wrong way. This is hard. I don't enjoy working under dashes. Oh, there we go. Got our clip. Wrist clip. There we go. So now, let's see. I'm gonna reach in here. Kind of wiggle this thing over. Come off. All this lube. I don't like it. Okay. Let's see here. So we're gonna give this thing a tug. There we go. We'll pull the switch off. See how that slips over the pin on the lever? It's the brake pedal lever. So this thing slips over. That's the rod for the brake booster through the firewall and then the switch slips over that as the rod slips over and that kind of gives us a better view 
on, uh, on our nut that we need to get off. All right, so looking up at that nut, I believe that's a 19 mil or an 18. I think it's an 18, I don't care, I grabbed a 19. And I'm trying to loosen it. it. Looks like the bolt's turning with it. So what we'll do is I'll run a socket in on the other side and put the ratchet on the socket and then we'll uh, we'll go back up with the wrench and hold it. You guys can't see what I'm doing up there. It's nasty. All right, I threw a flashlight up here. Maybe we can see a little better. It's still kind of a dungeon up top. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean we can't feel it. So I've got that on, that's on the bolt. Now we need to get a wrench up on the nut on this side and then we can try to hit that side with the electric ratchet to uh, spin this thing loose. Okay, I think I've got this arrangement kind of set up enough here where it's gonna work. We'll see. Very good, thank you, sir. Take care, buddy. I'll see you later. Okay, hang on. None of us can see what's going on here. I'm trying to, this is hard. <laughs> this is hard to do. It's even harder to do on the camera. Uh, come on, turn. No space for leverage. There we go. Woohoo. All right, there's the nut. We're getting somewhere. Here's my socket that, I, that fell down. Now I'm gonna try to push that bolt through and that's gonna disconnect this uh, brake lever from its bracket. Oh good, the nut comes out. There we go. Okay, brake pedal's coming out and we can see, here's our problem right there. See that plastic bushing shim thing? That's disintegrating and coming apart. Let's get out of here and go over to the bench see what we can do about getting a new one fit, fitted, installed, replaced. Burbs. There we go. To the bench we go. There we go. Look, the rear main seal for another Chevrolet. Put that over there for later. Alrighty, so what we need to do is get this old shim out of this thing right here. And it should be brittle enough where it just breaks apart or not. This thing's got lube on everything. We'll break the little, yeah, there we go, that one broke off. Bend that one in. We'll bend it and hold it and then just kind of push it through. That's what I'll do. Come on. Exit the shaft. Here, we'll stick that one in there, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna win. Gonna win. There we go. And then it slides on through, comes out the other side. Like that. And we have a replacement right here that is not worn out. So I believe it's gonna go that way. That's the way we found it. Yeah. So I'll take this new one. We'll get some lubricant prepared and then we'll insert this one into the brake pedal lever. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just give this a squirt of some uh, lithium grease. You don't need a, a boatload of it. Just enough. And then we have to collapse the end of this new insert and then shove that down through the, the shaft here. There we go. Put a little bit of lube on it and a little bit in it. That was actually a lot of bit of lube, but whatever. Everything's a hammer. There we go. New insert inserted. So right here, that's the uh, the bolt that runs through. I'm gonna clean off the uh, old grease and lube. We don't want that. Uh, taking note that there was thread lock on that, so I'm definitely going to put some back on because this is the only thing that allows the brake lever to operate. So if this thing were to come loose and then fall out, uh, you don't have any brake pedal anymore and that 
would be bad. So, check this for fitment. Nice and snug, I like that, that's good. Okay, pull that guy back out. And back to the car with us. After I de-lube this right here, that's nasty. Look at that big old chunk of grease right there, look at that. How's that supposed to be a lubricant when it's a solid? Ew. Get rid of that stuff. Goodbye. What year is this truck? An 04? This is it like 17 year old? 17 year old grease? Let's see, 4 to 23. How many years is that? 19 years? Wow, I'm getting old fast. I forgot how to do math. The math is not mathing. Raised math skills have waned. I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. That's the saying. I remember when that song came out. That was 20 years ago. Maybe longer. Ah, what is this? I do not agree with time. I think it's because we're living in an alternate dimension. Like that's where all the time went. All of a sudden, poof, we're in the future. And it's looking like 1984. All right, that's enough degreasing the, the pin. Let's bring this thing back over to the truck and uh, we'll get it reinstalled. Then we'll check on our flippy floppy wiggly wobbly business. Oh, I get that thing in there. Oh, I forgot the the bolt. Hang on, I'll be right back. Stay here. Okie dokes, I'm back. I brought the thread lock. I brought the bolt. Left you guys here to guard the brake pedal. Let's get this thing up into its home, refitted, and then reassembled. And again, we'll check on that weeby wobbly business. See if we have resolved it or not. This is a. Uh, oh, how'd this go? I don't know. Um, yeah, we're close. I, it's almost up there. Hang on. I can't see what the deal is. There. Okay. So the pedal's kind of in position. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, this is rough. Yeah, you see, there it is. Now you can see. I can see that you can see because I'm looking. And it fell out. Okay, shove that thing back in there again. And I'm reaching up uh, with the, the bolt right here. And I'm gonna go around, start to try to place that bolt through the bracket. And then we've gotta wiggle the, the pedal lever and get that thing lined up. Yeah, much easier said than done because I can't see what I'm doing. I need to put you guys up there in like a like a two-way chat and get you to help me out. Like you guys look what I'm doing and then you tell me what I'm doing wrong. It's like a, I'll have like a thousand personal assistants on one job. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is, this is random rambling nonsense right here. <laughs> Camera's flying all over. Oh, that's definitely getting saved for the end scene. That's just a, they just caught it, we're done. Ah. Let me see here, all right. It's reaching up over here, uh, way up, there's our bolt. It's nearly in position, I need to grab a hold of the lever and just kind of move it around until that uh, bolt lines up with the, the pass-through hole thing on the lever. A lot of trial and error, I can't, I can't see anything up there. It went in halfway. A little more. And it's, it's over here at the edge. Uh, we need to go a little bit up. Mm. Almost, it's almost through. Eee, I'm getting a little warm in here. Yeah, oh no, what, okay, it's, it's coming through, I can see the tip. There we go. I see some threads. This is bad for the back. All right, it's all the way through. Whew. Okay, so uh, prepping the nut here. I wanna make sure to get some, some thread lock on that nut. Cause I took thread lock, or there was thread lock, I wanna put it back. Make sure uh, this thing stays secured. There we go. Right up 
here get that guy started and, and I'll come back in with the, the socket the extension and the wrench and we'll run that thing down kind of probing around with that socket can't really can't really feel where the head of that bolt is Ugh. might have been easier to take the steering column out to do this remove dash I'm glad I didn't make that joke earlier that could be a possibility here Okay, the pedal's bolted in, it still moves, this is good. We need to get the uh, brake pedal switch and the, the booster lever reattached to the pin that's on the pedal right here. See that? Not really, you can't see anything. Terrible cameraman. Here, we'll try it over here, I kind of got you guys at a different angle. So we're going in now. We've got the, the switch. Now you see how the switch has to slide over that pedal and then you run the pin, or the, the shaft rather, then you fit the pin through it so they both go on at the same time. The trouble is getting it all lined up and whatnot. Hard to do. Cannot reach. Mm. We just wiggle that pedal some until it goes over. There we go. So the switch is now on the peg that's on the on the lever. And last but not least, we've got this very evil yet very necessary clip right here. You know that? What we need to do is put this clip over that peg, press it, and it's going to expand this centerpiece right here. Then we slide it down, and then when that centerpiece springs back, it'll retain this clip. That way. None of this stuff can come apart. Um, I'd love to show you how that's actually gonna work, but there is no way I'm getting the camera up there. So I hope my description of this operation is gonna be sufficient. Because if it's not, then uh, I can't help you. So I slide it in, push it. I, don't, I didn't think I got it. I don't think it did. I didn't hear it snap. You have to pry these things out. like sequentially uh, therefore you gotta pry them back together sequentially kick that was it wiggle it some make sure it's stable yes it is now we can plug the plug in for the brake pedal snap that thing on and we are good to go okay let me back this thing up and let's check what the pedal looks like. A little bit of side play, but it's not doing the clicky thing. Good to go. All right, that is a success. Oh, and by the way, um, I did notice there's some fluid right there uh, coming out of the seal on the shaft on that booster. A little bit of a leak, um, not super crazy of a leak. But it is there nonetheless. That's actually uh, power steering fluid because this thing has a hydro boost. The uh, brake boost assist is generated by the power steering pump, not a, uh, a vacuum assist booster. So it's got a slight leak on the uh, on the seal. Uh, not a major thing. Uh, very common issue. It's kind of a non-issue with this mileage, but I figured I'd make note of that before you guys went. Whee, you missed the leak. Okay, looking good. One more time. Let's uh, let me start the engine. We at least got to give it some brakes. Oh, I just felt that pedal bump a little bit too. Yeah, it's. We'll have to put a booster in this one day. Not today, but one day. Huh. Here. All right, guys. That's gonna about uh, about wrap it up. Parking brake off flashlight retrieved that was cool so uh all that being said i'm gonna go ahead and close this video out we're all set 
we're all done. Operation was a success. Brake pedal is less flippity floppity. Oh, hang on, we got more flashlights in here. This is how you lose flashlights. You put them, you put them somewhere so you can see, then they die, and then you lose them because they, they died and you don't know where they went. And that's always bad. Can't even find this one. Hang on. I see the light. I can't find my flashlight. Seriously, no way, dude. Where to go? There it is. All right, guys. I'm I'm getting lost in a rabbit hole of rambling and jaw jacking. So, again, as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, you know the drill. Let me know about that by tapping that like button down below. If you did not enjoy this video, then um, go into my video library and go back in time and watch something else. Maybe you'll like that one. Whew. So, again, and as always, thank you guys for watching. And most importantly, don't forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. End of 2004 Chevrolet Suburban. Okie dokes. Side quest bonus video. Where's my screwdriver? Uh, oh, man, I, I broke the one I needed. Um, we'll use this one. That'll work. Yep, side quest bonus video. This uh, Suburban over here has a K&N filter, and we're gonna go ahead and perform the K&N filter cleaning process, and we're gonna re-oil it and all that good stuff. So what we gotta do here is unscrew our filter box. Looks like it's uh, gonna be four, four of these little screws right here. That one's kind of far away, but we can get to it. We're gonna unscrew this guy, pull the filter out, take it over the garden hose, we're gonna wash it out, and, uh, treat it with the uh, K&N filter treatment kit. Not sponsored, that's just what's in there. And then uh, we'll throw the thing back together. So uh, enjoy the bonus segment of said video. There, I turned on a light, now we can see what's going on here. It's like looking into a dungeon. I guess that's the theme of this car today, looking into dungeons. Okay, there's one screw. Those two are still in there, those are cool, those can stay. This one's hard to get down here, but no worries. Pull that one out. Come on, screw. Okay, lid comes up. And our engine air filtration element can be extracted. Pretty good looking, not bad. Let's go over the garden hose. We'll hose this thing out. Blow it out with the air gun, let it dry, and then we'll treat it with the, uh, the k and kit over here. Actually, you know what? We need to get into this kit first and see if it's got like a cleaner. What does it have here? The cotton air filter cleaning system, the recharger, performance plus recharger. Mm, what do my directions say? Ta -ta 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 -ta. You know what? I'm not going to read those. Let's just uh, open the box and see what the cans are in. So I'm not even going to read those. Let's just open up the box and see what the cans say. Whatever the product label is, that's what we're gonna do. We'll just do whatever that thing says it does. Come here. Okay, what do we have? We have some cleaner, that's what we need. Spray that stuff in, and then this is the oil. That's the oil treatment, and it's red, so it's probably good. Set that down there, this is coming with us. Let's go outside to where the garden hose is. We'll set this thing up, spray it, soak it, and then hose it out. Here, we'll use my old k and from a Duramax to support this k and and we can go ahead and get the spray in there. The filter's actually kind of looking sort of cleanish. It says generous, generously coat both, uh, both sides. So that's what we're gonna do. That's one side generously coated. Dippy flop. Get all inside the pleats. There we go. And it says let this soak for 10 minutes and it'll break up road grime and tar and dirt and dust and pollen and bugs and rocks and sticks and planes and trains and lions and tigers and bears, oh my. All right, be back in 10 minutes. Okay, longer than 10 minutes has passed. Let's hose this filter out. Clean it up, hose it out, dry it off, and then we'll treat it and put it back.
Mm, nasty. Give it a flip. More feet. I wonder. Let's see, flat, full. Let's do jet. We'll blast all that nonsense out. Yeah. I think it's cleaner. It looks more cleaner. Earth. Good. Oh yeah, I can see through the pleats and everything. Very nice. Yeah, see all the light coming through? That's good. We like that. Fold it some to open up the other side. There. Let's do a let's do a shower. All right. Okay. Let's go fetch the assault blowgun. Blow this thing out, and then we'll get it treated. Drippity drips. So you go right here. We'll lean that up right there. And then we can assault blow gun this thing, get rid of all the air, let it dry, we'll put it in the sun. Once it dries out, we'll spray the spray. Nice. Give it a flip. too far. Goodbye, water. Ah, it's ruined. Contaminated. Try it again. Okay. Let's go set this thing out in the sun, let it dry up all the way, and then uh, we'll get it uh, treated, prepared, and then reinstalled. Let's just go ahead and move this one over some. Put that right there. Nice, good sunlight. All right, I'll be back 10 more minutes. Don't go anywhere. Okay, dokes, time for some spray. Do this in here. Yep, that's what we did. I uh, sprayed it out with the hose. And then uh, let it dry. Shiny. Get it in there nice and deep black. I have to restrain myself. I got a habit of overdoing this because I feel like it's a spray paint job. There we go. Just a wee bit. Yeah, if you oversaturate these, it'll give you mass airflow codes and, and that's not good. You don't want that. Just get a red hue to it. Yeah, see, I think I overdid it. No worries. I can un-overdo it with some towels. There. Well, that's cool. No! It's fine, backup towels. There. Let this dry again, we'll throw it back in the truck. We're good to go. All right. It's been about five minutes or so. This should be decently dry. Let's slip that guy back down into its home. Get, her all Get our screws screwed in. And that's going to be a wrap. Come here. I dropped one earlier. I had to go fish the thing out. It fell way down, down below. These aren't exactly screws that can be replaced with just any random generic screw. There we go. There's number four, three, three, number three. Idiot. <laughs> Let's 
Stop! Do not discard. And there's my my fourth one. Come on now. Clicks. Just double check these clamps while we're here. Yep. Yep. And that one. Yep. Alrighty. Cool beans. Alright, thanks for watching the uh, the side quest. See you guys later. Have a great day. In the transmission. Okay, beginning live oak air assault operation momentarily. Hey, keep going. Go like way back. That's good right there. Perfect. Windows up. Here it comes. Goodbye, leave. We don't need you. Nice and shiny.